Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Jin mid versus a Akali, and we're playing Jin because he got buffed this patch, which was, uh, I think, today. Yeah, today is the new patch, I believe, and um, what they did is that they gave him two things, which is the first thing is that, uh, if you didn't know, when Jin gets crits, uh, he gets movement speed, so that's number one. And they buffed that by 4%. It used to just be uh, 10%, so 14% now, so there's another 4. And then uh, the other thing that they buffed is that his Q just has a better ratio on it by like 9%. So not bad either. So when you uh, are hitting people with your Q, basically at any point in the game, it's going to deal more. Of course, ratios mean that uh, the more ED you have, the more powerful it becomes. So that would probably be more of something during mid game and late game so we're just gonna fourth shot her into q she'll hit me again but thankfully i hit her with my fleet uh fleet footwork is a very powerful rune on Jin because uh movement speed really benefits and also sometimes uh you can get chunked in lane and being able to heal yourself back up through the fleet is really good but of course minions give you like 30 percent that value so it's really bad but uh when you uh oh, really okay wait that should bounce to her. You're dead. You committed a bit too hard for me. Because she overextended and like, I knew I wouldn't die, then we can just run her down with Ghost. Ghost is really powerful. Uh, and if you ever make a mistake versus Jin, one of his benefits uh, compared to a lot of other champions is just that you will normally die because I have an execute. My fourth shot, every single time I do it, is technically an execute. Not only does it crit, but it does percent missing damage. So it's really, really good. Um, dang, I was really hoping I would bounce to her. My wave is like, not the best, but as you saw, the melees crashed. So because the melees crashed, I'll just sacrifice some of these. She could try to stop me. She might take a turret shot if she does it. And, yeah, okay. You can just fully base. Uh, so... S you know what? Let's go... Infinity Edge, first item. That's right. Giga Chad build. Believe it or not, I looked up the win rate for Infinity Edge first item, and it's actually really good. It only has 210 games played with it, but that's still, like... A, a decent sample size. Uh, the thing that you would compare it to is the most built is Storm Surge with uh, 19 or no, 9,000 games played. So obviously the sample size of Infinity Edge is much smaller, but 210 games is not like 20, you know? There's some items that are like 20. Akali uh, killed my Jarvan. Everybody pinged that they were missing too, right? Even was Jarvan not also pinging that she was rotating down? Dang, she got blue buff off that? Bro. Are you gonna take that? Oh, blue buff is really OP on energy champions, so I'm just really, really sad right now. Not sure, uh... If that was a necessary death. Oh, she almost let me fourth shot. That was close. If you let me fourth shot, I'm going to hit really, really hard. I'd be a little bit careful. Because she's half HP, we're going to deal that percent missing. Auto attack into Q just for a little bit of damage. That is perfectly prepped here. Oh, please. Close. It's really difficult, but if we hit the balances on them, we get that bonus damage going because every single minion you kill with your Q empowers your Q again. Another good fourth shot. Nice. Okay, that's huge. Dang, almost cuter. But as you can see, she's, she's pretty low. Um. Well... I didn't expect my W to hit that hard. That was kind of ridiculous. Like, I don't know. It looked like she was around 100 HP and my ability is level 1, so... I 
I got the uh, plating and just did so much damage to that guy. I'm hoping that helps out my entire team. Also, she might reach level 6 very soon, so I'm just going to back away. And I got the minion. And we'll just leave. Uh, I have a BF sword and base. Of course, I'm not going to have boots, which kind of sucks, but... Oh, well. All right, we have a tremendous amount of AD. And that does mean that, dude, no. Now, one of you are dead. Not both, right? Okay, both of you are dead, but it's not two just to call you. Dang, we wasted Shennel. My bad, team. Because I'm beating my lane, it's causing me to reset, and uh, that's causing her to get killed, so. My bad for winning, I guess. <laughs> Solo killing my lane is getting my team killed. Unfortunate. Well, at least I got blue buff. I don't know. That's good. She has no ult, right? So. Good Q? Oh, nice. Got the Q off, too. We have good traps, too. Ah, oh. That almost bounced it. Oh. Dang. You are really being risky, aren't you, dude? If Shen rotates, I'll rotate too. Like, I just want him to... I, I don't want to freaking face tank that. Look at how low Akali is. She's getting crushed. One Q? Nice. Had a feeling she would do that. He also got ignited? I mean, okay, well, I, we weren't able to get the kill, but that's okay because we get a plate and that's still money. I really want to get two plates, but she might all in me. If she all into me, that would be good because if my teammates could maybe counter gank it, but I think that they're going to be hyper focused on like doing red, so I probably wouldn't get any assistance whatsoever. If she wants to all in me, she basically has to uh, land R plus. Nice, that's a really good bounce. One auto. I actually got the plate and didn't get caught. Thank God. That guy's really low. Nice kill. Massive. Akali can't do anything here. She's pretty chunked. Also, she just used her E, and there's no way she would all in me without using that, I think. So, we're safe for like five seconds, or however long she has until the next one. Do I have IE in base? Ooh, I do. Not only do I have IE, I have, uh... Boots as well, I believe. Level 1 boots. So, we are quite strong now. Um, because we get the critical strike damage of this. So, that affects our fourth shot. So, technically, we will always know that we will hit fourth shot really hard. Uh, so, if she's like a little bit less than half, I press Q. I press uh, fourth shot, and she pops. She goes away. I have the urge to sneeze. <coughs> but recently I haven't been able to. Thank god I actually sneeze for once. It sucks whenever you have to sneeze and then it fades away slowly, but you don't sneeze at all. I feel like that is such a terrible feeling. I don't know if I can beat Akali in a 1v1 from full HP, even though I have Infinity Edge. Because at the end of the day, she's still an assassin. And, uh... She's good like that. 
She's in a ulti, yeah. I mean. Ulti plus E on a Kali, but the good news is that you just got a huge uh, ability down, so I can play the game a little bit easier. I just wish that uh, the Shen didn't waste it. What? Wow, why would she not fight me there? I don't think that I'm that strong. Am I? Am I really that scary? There's no way, right? Let's just have the Q bounce on her, I guess. I'm a bit surprised. I'm Jin. I guess, I don't know. I feel like she's playing nervous, but... Not much that I can do about that. She she jumps on me, shrouded, shrouds, and uh, she's very fast, so I can't even like get an auto attack off after that. She probably can't clear that ward. Almost level 11 if I want to go for like an ultimate play, although I don't want to ultimate uh, somebody with a dash. Unless she's like one shot. But she's not right now, so... Uh, the next item could be, like, really anything. I don't really know what I want to go. Mm. I'll go Storm Surge, I guess. What Storm Surge will give us is uh, movement speed when we hit people with our auto attacks, and that will just make us attack, or not attack, move very quickly, so kiting becomes easier. Wow, Akali just got a massive shutdown from my Draven. Holy. Didn't kill him either. Not bad. All right, so Akali might come back with like even items as me because she got about a thousand gold from that Draven kill, so she's really fat. Uh, or she got a mass amount of gold that like might make her even with me now. So, and, and on an even uh, playing field, I lose because the only reason why I was winning is because I got an early game lead that allowed me to uh, win through item advantage. Now we have to think of it as a champion difference angle, where, like, she's a better 1v1-er. But that doesn't mean that, obviously, I could be way better inside teamfights or something. My teammates peel me, I press my abilities on my keyboard, and people die very quickly. And I'm not melee. So I can do it from, like, really, really far away. Too bad I don't have my ultimate here. It'd be kind of nice. Because uh, those guys are so low. Even uh, this Rengar is scary. I guess we do have a Shen though. If I just spam, oh yo 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 yo, they're going behind you. Oh my god, I am on the way, guys. I have home guards. I am running quickly. Shen used ultimate, but it's unsuccessful. Not good. But I'm here. I mean, hey, I, I am still a massive part of the team, and if we find anybody and hit them, they will probably die. Because they were all pretty low. It's really unfortunate. That was a really obvious uh, fight. Like, we saw them flank, but everybody still got caught. Oh, wait, I get this. Yo, this is really good. This is a big amount of gold for us. Uh, let me go grab blue buff, I guess. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Please. Please, dude. Thank you. Guy almost took my blue buff. Aw, oh, that doesn't kill that.
Now, what's cool about Jin is that uh, we get that bonus, like, AD, right? And that gives us more AD than, like, any champion in the entire game. Uh, I don't want to build it now because they don't have much AP champions, but uh, if you're ever scared of, like, AP assassins, if you build a Maw on Jin late game... Oh. Well, she's probably gone. The thing is that the brand walked in. Okay, so Akali can only ulti people. So because nobody was behind her, she was screwed. But then somebody gave her an angle. I was hoping that she would ulti me. But that would ulti her backwards rather than to the side. So I guess I just can't even use my ultimate until after she pops hers. But I just thought that she, we wouldn't even let her get it. So... Ooh. Okay, I'm still being chased by this guy. Let me just leave then. I could probably beat Akali in 1v1, as you saw. I got hit by everything, but I could still auto-attack her down. And she didn't have ult. But I probably would have died it. Oh my god, bro. Wait, I can kill that guy. If we just fought together rather than be super scared and run away, we actually kill him. But... I don't think that guy wants to fight with me. Dang. If only we wanted to fight together, bro. You're strong, too. You have... If he lands a EQ, then he just auto-attacks once, heals for, like, 300 because he's half. But it's fine, man. I'll, I'll peel myself, I guess. Do it all on my own. Very big uphill battle. Their biggest threats are fed. Very sad. Um, but anyways, what I was trying to say is that the Maw... The Maw gives you a shield based off of your AD. This will be over a 1,000 late game. Because you will have like 700 AD. No champion gets 700 AD. Realistically. And of course, you can bring it even higher than that. You can get up to like 900. Um, but... Draven has been just dying on repeat ever since that one death bot lane to Akali. Now he's just unable to even play the game. It's okay, though. I'm sure we will find our footing somewhere so we can play. I haven't been able to play yet, but... My W didn't land on her. How tragic is that? I got her. I can't even play. I got the Jinx, though. I managed to DPS her enough. The Shen shield actually was so good there. Nice. Draven killed that uh, person as well. Not bad. Okay. I mean, for, for us not being in the best spot, and also I unfortunately flashed in the... The Bluetooth Renekton W got me. Um, that wasn't that bad. That could have been much worse. Okay, yeah, okay. Freak L onto the Rengar. Ew. Nice, guys. Um, I don't really have a way to defend myself versus the Rengar, really. I do think just, like, Rapid Fire is always good, so I guess I'll just go for that. Rapid Fire is going to just make it so we can auto-attack from a safer distance inside a teamfight, so we don't need to be up front. That's about it. I could try to go, like, Shield Bow, I guess. I feel that would probably be the only defensive item I could possibly build versus that guy. Or I sell my boots and buy plated steel caps as well. That could also be, like, a possibility. It's a very scary scenario where I am side lane Jin. Let's hope that uh, I'm not going to get collapsed on. I got double buffs as well, and I don't like that because having double buffs means that I'm more of a target. So I ghost because I'm scared as heck, and I uh, live. So, this guy uses R. I'll ping that. If we just play together now, 
with Rengar not having ult, I think we're in a pretty good position. I didn't get hit by that, so they don't see where I'm at. I'm actually behind this guy. They are, like, still shoving out topside pretty hard. The Renekton might walk down, but I'm really the only person that would maybe be in position if you went through River. Oh, they are still pushing top. They are, like, really deep up there. If anything, we should be walking up together and collapsing on them. But if you walk in like how Draven does, you can get one shot. Well, if I walk into Rengar and die, unfortunate. It's really important to um, escort your AD carries everywhere so they don't get killed by the assassins. But the escorting is not happening this game. We are just on our own at the mercy of uh, whatever the assassins do. Bummer, bro. You want to fight? That guy dies. She doesn't die? Seriously? Okay, so she was about to die, right? And I'm pretty sure she flashed, which made my grenade not bounce immediately. That's so sad. My god, bro. Everybody just lives with one HP. I, I think that it literally was... God. Okay, well, well played by Janna. Just barely getting a hit off of me so she could help out with the damage. So I instantly get one tapped. Sad. Oh, well. <sighs> oh, well. The good news is that, obviously, our dragons are looking good. So, if we just kind of don't mess up the next dragon fight, we'll be in a quite good scenario because we'll be tanky. Chemtech Soul will make it so we take less damage when we're below half, so assassins will just have a harder time finishing us. Also, we get bonus damage when we're below half too, which is probably going to happen if we're getting assassinated, so... Not sure why we're uh, voting. I don't understand that, but okay, guys. I only need <clears throat> a little bit more money to finish my item. This sucks. Okay, so I'll just farm top. I'll get the wave. Hopefully not get dove by a Rengar Renekton. And then... We base. And then... We run to uh, the dragon because I don't have TP, so I just need to be there. And we're ready to uh, see if we can win this next fight. I do have sums. Sums is good, so I can try to reposition myself when I get jumped on. Inevitably. And if I don't get jumped on, I'll carry the fight, maybe. Kali might try to loop behind. Yeah, she is. Nice. You just canceled that guy's jump. I hit him! That's so insane. I hit that guy. We can still fight this. Daughter. I think that killing her is really important, so I will gladly burn my flash to get her. Alright, so let's just finish this now. I hit that Rengar when he was stealthed with my fourth, or not my fourth shot, but a Jin ult, and it didn't kill him. And it's because of the Jan ultimate going off, but I bet he was like 1 HP. Alright, cool. That's a really good take on that. What?
I can uh, get her. Or you can. Boom. Well played, boys. Good job playing all together. When I have my beefy boys with me and they just peel me, I deal so much. They must be a little bit tilted after that one. We must be in a pretty good position just to win the game right now. Like, Janna's not even here. Fourth shot. I wanted the fourth shot of the turret. As you can see, it, it chunked it pretty hard, so... I think I might be able to get there just as fast if I just base and walk, so... I'm gonna go LDR next because uh, I want to make it so I can just deal damage to everybody that has even one uh, armor item or HP item. I'm so fast. I'm so fast every single crit. Still have fourth shot ready? Dang, come on. Somebody somebody come here. What Rengar ult? Come here. Oh, I'm the one getting engaged on? Okay. Dang, that last shot, bro. Oh, well. We can take this. Don't worry, guys. I will be the front line. When they don't have a uh, ults and stuff, I feel super confident. Wait, you died? Bro? My team all left me. <laughs> Dang! I wish that we all went together there. The Rengar used his dying breath to bowl at me, so I was stuck. And then because I used fourth shot, I have to like go through reloads. Otherwise I could I could probably two tap jinx at this point. The next time I want to go is Bloodthirster. What Bloodthirster is going to give us is uh, the most AD in the game. Because it gives you bonus AD based off of your level. When you're above 70%. So that will just make it so I have a solid like 800 AD. So I want to go for that. Not to mention it's also going to give us like uh, a huge amount of uh, lifesteal. So when I auto attack, I heal for around 200 a hit. And that's a lot, so. Jinx is really the only threat on their team, kind of. Like, she can carry the team fights, but then the, the rest of the threats aren't going to carry team fights. Their goal is to uh, wipe the carry so Jinx can carry, so. The, the assassins killed me, then Jinx cleans up the rest of the fight. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that guy really didn't die. One auto. Boom. Wait, what? That didn't kill? Okay. Fourth shot? There we go. There we go. There, Those are the shots that I was looking for. Yeah, see, Ghost is so powerful because you just run people down so easily. So yeah, that was Jin Mitt. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary on uh, me playing this pick. I enjoy playing Jin. Jin is such a fun champion because he's an AD carry, but he isn't reliant on, like, auto-attacking a lot. He's reliant on, uh, like, slowly auto-attacking, which is cool because you hit so damn hard. I'm going to give it to Jarvan, even though I I feel like there was some moments where I feel like he could have definitely played around me a bit harder. Did most damage on my team. I did not honestly expect that. 
um, because Draven was in the lane that like was inting. The enemy team bot lane was the inting one. Thanks mid for inting. Thanks Riot losing lane three losing lane. Thank Riot for those buffs. What buffs? Good to know Akali gets countered by Jin. Yo, you guys are just giving me all the clickbait right now. When she says, thank Riot for them buffs, is she saying... Dude, this could be taken as two separate ways, which is, this is Akali saying, thanks Riot, thank Riot for the buffs. And that's either, I picked Akali and the buff wasn't enough, which is the 30 HP, or she's saying, I should have never died... The only reason why I'm dying is because Jin is broken. <laughs> so I think it sounds like the Jin is broken. Thanks, thank Riot for the buffs to Jin. So you guys have to face this. So yeah, uh, uh, Jin is broken, guys. I did it. All right, GGs. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You know, like, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do. See you guys later. Bye.